Hello everyone, this is Steven Young and uh, today we are here to look at the TV catch up for Android. Well, we got the Kindle Fire here, but uh, loading with two different OS. The top one, which is the op uh, Mod Modaco optimized, uh, pretty much original Kindle Fire OS with latest version. And the bottom one is the OSP, uh, the Jellybean latest uh, Android. Well, actually you can see it got some very similar feel to the Nest 7. Let's load up some app. Uh, we can see some difference on the frame rate on the Jelly Bean version, the buffer thing, all right? Buffer technology, as everybody knows now. Pretty smooth. And both of them are load quite fast, no problem at all. And then we actually can see here, in terms of the OS, the differences, uh, the navigation would be different. Well, um, sometimes you, it's just crash because it doesn't support that function, but I don't think that would be problem at all, especially um, if you only need to do just tweet uh, to share with your friend on what you're actually watching right now, there'll be no issue at all. So the image quality on the bottom one, the jelly bean version, looks stunning, in my opinion. Smooth, high quality, and loading fast, responsive, and we can treat as well. But the top one, uh, we can see here, uh, loading pretty slow. Uh, we need to be patient, I think both of the app from the same source so would be the identical so I actually silo the app uh, it works quite well so there will be some tiny bit delay between the uh, minimum display to the full screen that's all I can say. Uh, but on the Jelly Bean, the delay would be pretty small. And then we can also load up some previous or two or three seconds, like a review. So you won't feel any differences apart from the screen actually change. But from the gingerbread version one, uh, you actually see a lot of gap between the switching. So developer probably need to fix a bit for the 2.3 and you can see loading speed is pretty slow as well but on Jellybean it's fast it's cool it got some transition effects as well Yeah, one thing I want to mention is when we are watching on the news or the telly, uh, if we want to check the version of that by any chance, I mean, people just curious about the info. And then the video would be stopped. And uh, if you come back and you need to reload again, this would be a bit annoying, especially on the gingerbread version. So if still playing in the background, uh, at least uh, you got songs on the background and that would be better in my opinion but I know you know not many people always check the info here just myself <laughs> So in terms of the image quality, we can see a pretty much big uh, differences here. Um, I know it's different channel, but uh, in general, these channels are having some great quality. 
But actually, I'm not sure why it's gonna be like this. It should have been just like a different app, but only gingerbread is like old technology. And you can see some interruption and the decoding issue as well. It's just not a good experience on the gingerbread. So actually, I'm not sure how it's actually on some pure gingerbread OS, the OSP version one. But from the Kindle Fire point of view, many people using like this. So I would suggest probably need be fix up uh, on the gingerbread version. But also, uh, if I can say, user can hack on it. Uh, we can actually. Update, update to the latest version of Enjoy. That would be great. And the functionality would be huge improvement. Well, I'm not here to say uh, this is definitely a go, but uh, it's just suggestion, especially if you can see here, save a lot of time for a developer to actually adapt to different OSs. I think that's a general issue for Android as well. Um, but uh, we can see the performance on Jelly Beans. Cool. And another thing I want to suggest is that uh, if uh, we can like uh, have the option to choose whether we can double click on the screen to minimize or maximize of the, the display, that would be better. Because uh, I'm not sure how many people using the very good quality tablet. I mean, the screen, the digitizer. Sometimes it's just so easy to double click, and then you need to load it again, again, again. So um, my suggestion would be if we can just use the back to go to the small, uh, minimize the window. That would be better. I know uh, double click is convenient, but sometimes, especially on some budgets tablet or not so good digitizer that will be causing problem, especially in terms of the user experience. The knock-on for prices of food on the supermarket shelves should take months. The man who briefed the president says any sooner and customers are being ripped off. He's hoping for divine intervention. I get on my knees every day. And I'm saying an extra prayer now. Uh, if I try Locals say they've never seen this reservoir like this, six feet below normal. It will get worse before it gets better, too. No significant rainfall is forecast for weeks. Fitch, that is downgrade the Cooperative Indiana. Bank's credit rating on what should have been Let's a good news day. The reason? Impaired loans and the falling value of property secured against chicken. them. A problem Fitch expects to get chicken. worse this year and perhaps next year because of the Lloyds deal. If approved by regulators, 4.8 million Lloyd's customers will be automatically transferred come by November 2013. Add that to the co-op's existing, and it will have 1,000 branches nationwide. Just so along with groceries, package holidays, and funeral services, and ED10 MP. Text plus one count 50 plus one message at standard network rates. Lines close at midday on the day shown on screen. So app switching is pretty smooth on the Jelly Bean version. You can switch between apps and uh, the experience is okay, I think. No problem at all. And finally, uh, we test on the rotation feature. Uh, on both of the version, it works pretty well. But sometimes, it's just the display ratio got messed up. 
especially ITV1. I don't know why. Maybe I just prefer to watch ITV1, but uh, need to try a little bit more or some. Just try a bit more and then it go back to normal. But it's just strange. I think uh, it probably due to the app, I think. But in general, that would be pretty good, uh, especially uh, if for those who hack on it and uh, upgrade it to the latest version of Android, uh, you can definitely, definitely use more than what you get in the stock uh, Kindle Fire experience. I know you will lose the um, Amazon Prime service, but uh, I mean here in the UK, not easy to use anyway, you see, so um, if you can like hack on it and uh, install a latest Android, that would be a whole new world. Just by one app, you can see the difference already. Finally, I think uh, a little bit more tweet uh, fix thing that would be great already. I mean, most of the Android apps nowadays got different problems. But as far as I can see from this app, the TV catch up on the Jelly Bean works pretty, pretty good. I'm quite satisfied with it. So good job developer, uh, good job TV catch up. Keep going and uh, thanks everyone. See you next time. Bye bye.